Hi, today I will show you how to test structured data from your AMP page. First, we need to talk about what is structured data. Structured data is a standardized format that will provide information about a page and classifying the page content. It helps the Google search create search results. And what is rich results? Rich results are experience on Google search that goes beyond to the standard blue link. And rich results can be included in carousels, images, or known textual elements. So uh, some of the examples are, for example, events and bugs that you can see on the Google search, top stories, and how to test rich results. You're gonna find a testing tool at search.google.com slash test slash rich results. With that too, we will be able to test which type of content were found on your page and if your page has any type of errors and suggestion to fix those problems. And what type of status we can get from that too. First, if our page doesn't have any item, we're gonna see uh, no items detected. Second, we can have a valid item, or we can have a valid item with warnings. It means that your structured data are right, like the whole information that you pass is right, but you have a valid structured data, but some items, some properties are not fully valid. And the worst scenario, you have invalid items. Those styles can be related to a AMP page or a known AMP page. So, Structured data is not only restricted to AMP page. You also can use structured data on known AMP page and make the usage of rich results. The important thing is that if you have your environment fully compatible with AMP and all the plugins are working fine and you are delivering like a valid AMP page, most of the warnings are related to the content. You need to fill the information to have a valid item without warnings. If something's go wrong, you can contact us anytime at the support forum. So now I will just do a quick demo. I will just test one page and see how that too works. Here at search.google.com slash test slash reach results, I will see the input field that I can or choose by uh, address, a uh, URL, or I can just copy and paste the code of my page. And with that, we just will add some item here that I will test. So I will select my page, I will run the test, and the test will scan the page that I selected. And here I have the results. So in my situation, I have four valid items that are detected and I have the details when that item was crawled. And here I can have more details about the items that are related to my page. So with that, I have the first overview over the structured data that are present on my website. I can click one of those items and get more details about that specific item. So here is the search results test. Also, we can use that too inside the search console. But for that video, I will just show how that too works. The next video, we're going to see how we can fix some problems with our content and how we can prevent structured data errors and warnings. That's an important point. Many users think that structured data errors are only related to the AMP plugin because inside the search Google console, you're going to see a section that is related to AMP and inside that section, you will see the errors related to those AMP pages. But most of the case, the information that is filled to the structured data is written by the content from your page. So pay attention to have all the information filled and all the content valid. And to know more about that, check the Google search documentation. There we're gonna find usable and valuable information to have your content shine on the search. And if you need any help, please contact us at the support forum. The link for the official support forum will be in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.